and I was just saying to the wife, everybody's got to be wondering if this is one of those Russian oligarchs boats that, or ships that got held up. We just ran into someone that supposedly, I guess we knew. It happens on occasion now. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But yeah, it is. I think this would classify as your super mega yacht. And here in a moment, we're gonna see that Augusta 109, I believe that's what that is, is Augusta 109 on the helipad in the back. And if that doesn't classify you as a super yacht, nothing does when you have your own twin engine helicopter on your stern. Both of these guys are incredible. What, what is this, like 80 meters? Yes. The winch probably yeah, is just over the Jesse Jones. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the 50 somethings. We're living life to the fullest and practicing for retirement. This is actually a different interest than they had last year for Boat Show. Yeah. And it actually enters on the end of Clematis Street here in West Palm. And if you're ever in West Palm, this is the It Street. This is where you're gonna find all the little shops, shopping, you name it, the little eateries as you can see right here. And it's just everybody walks around and steps into the little shops and places to eat. And like every other boat show, we're you know you're gonna have all the vendors, you got electronics, Ray Marine right here. Vendors list for all your AC pallets. Looks like these are integrated.
like I said, West Palm is known for the center consoles. Actually, for Treasure Coast. A little single engine, dusky. Think about the Treasure Coast and down south here, you, you will find everything from the mega yachts down to, well, here we have a single engine 150 pontoon boat. Looking for something, you're gonna find it down here. And don't ever forget about that used market, even though it's crazy right now. There's a blue water, it's got triples on it. And even with the offshore trolling motor, look at this Minnesota on Terror, that's what I have on my boat. And then my boat will hold in, I don't know, I think I'll hold that boat in probably 20 knot winds. Seven, eight knot currents, no problem whatsoever. And they've got these trolling motors that are outfitted on 30 something, some, 30 something plus boats. Walking into our edge waters, it's something for everybody. The problem is, these boats are getting outrageous. This is a scout right here, this black one. Black is beautiful, but I don't know if I could have a black boat in the state of Florida. Even on the best of days, like today, when it's not even going to get past 75, it is not exactly what's called a comfortable day. I could not imagine being on a black boat. And they come in every price bracket, too. And with the way prices are nowadays, guys, I don't know how we're going to ever afford to <laughs> do what we want to do unless you have a very large and very thick pocketbook. The average boat, single engine boat now is around anywhere 50,000 up. Heck, my little Key West single engine I think is going for 70 grand now and that's nothing more than a, you know, on a great day I can go or a good day I can go offshore three to four foot. Um, most part though it's made for the inland waters near shore you get up into those twin engine boats you get into these boats capable of going 40 50 60 100 miles offshore and you're talking about boats are going to run you 250 300 400 dollars Here we have one with one, two, three, four, four hundreds on it. Got one with four three fifties on it. See what is this? This is out of Tuppence Marine actually. And this is a Nas Tech or Nortec. I don't quite tell what that is. Beautiful boat. Like I said, if you've got the money, someone will build the boat for you and give you anything you want. Laura had to stop and get a photo of that. Yeah, I don't blame her. Take a picture of me and her with the boat, Come on, She's gonna take a picture of him with the boat. No, no, boy. Come on, no, boy. Leave the girl alone. Just for a second, give him the camera. She wants to take a picture. Oh, you just want the get a picture on the boat. Come on, now. Oh, the muscle oh. shot. Zoom in. There you go. <laughs> now, well, actually, you, zoom in over here. you want to picture that boat, you got to <laughs> show the muscle in the wallet. <laughs> Looks like Laura got called up by some gentlemen back there. What was all that about? I was trying to take a picture of the boat stop, and he <laughs> he stopped and flexed his muscles, and I missed it. Because as soon as I got my camera up, he goes, no. <laughs> okay. And we got a couple of uh looks like we got a couple of Jeeps over here and a big old I wanna say a Dodge or a Chevrolet. But even at these boat shows you're always gonna have all these unique vehicles that people build. So flow Jeep. Got a dual axle pickup truck here. I think that's a Chevrolet. I think I've seen this one. And they got just a chassis. Apparently what they do is they take the body off of the vehicle that you supply and stick it on their chassis. Holy cow. They actually do customize everything, even the MT 
interior, all leather. Really nice. Yeah, can we do that to mine? Yeah, I don't think so. Can't afford to do that and buy a boat too. Laura has a gladiator that we pull our boat with. I don't see any ducks in it. No ducks. Duck, duck, geese. And out there we'll be walking out in a moment looking at different boats, but just like every other boat show, you've got the large yachts, you've got the smaller mid-sized liverboard loop boats, which is what we look for. But you're gonna see a lot more of the center consoles and the uh, smaller boats here at West Palm. Cause like I said, down here, you get the Treasure Coast is what we're known as. You're gonna find a lot of people do a lot of inshore fishing and offshore fishing. This boat right here, um, it's, I don't know exactly what you categorize it at, but it actually is stationed in Stewart, not far from where we live at. It is a massive live port. I imagine you can throw some parties here. Looks like it's made out of 100% aluminum. Houseboat, obviously. Got a lot of glass, upper deck space. Some more Jeeps, customized Jeeps. Another thing you're gonna find here in Florida, everybody likes to customize their vehicles. And here we have leave some our of the house without seeing it. larger yachts. Iron Princess. Freedom. Made by Horizon. Beautiful boats. You can imagine what the fuel cost is on these boats right now. And since we're in West Palm, we gotta check out the luxury cars. West Palm is known for nothing else, it's known for luxury. And we have plenty of that. Here's a Bentley. Another Bentley right here. Imagine they cost as much as some, some of these larger boats around here. Got a Lamborghini from Fort Lauderdale collection. Rolls Royce, look at this Phantom series. And we got the sports cars, Porsches and 911 Taro. Things are awesome though. If you think about it. Some people like their cars, some people like their boats. $175,000. That would buy me my loop boat. Here we have a 2015 Spider, 458 Spider Ferrari. $298,000. That would definitely buy us the loop boat. Beautiful. <laughs> no loop boat for you. Do what? No loop boat for you. Yeah, I mean, no loop boat for you either. So let's get back on track over here and look at some of the boats. Definitely gonna look into those. Back coves. I yeah, like the back coves. This is the Norhaven 41 here at the West Palm Beach Boat Show, March 2022. Beautiful, beautiful boat. Laura and I are going to try to get on it a little bit later. We've got the back cove line up over there. Here we have the back cove 34. It doesn't have a full enclosed steering area. It's got the uh, soft back, if that's what you want to call it. But it's the smaller version of the 39. Still a beautiful boat, though. And this would be for, you know, this could be a nice weekender. This be a nice week on this boat. Twin engine outboards. Plenty of aft cockpit area. As you can see, you do have a bimini. It snaps on. It doesn't close the rear area. Twin Verado 400s on this one. Beautiful white. Okay, so this is the Batco 34. 
four. Um, probably a little too small, but I did want to get on it um, just in case we decide to do a for now boat. I don't think I'm going to walk up here. It is a little bit narrow and um, I'm not talented enough to I think hold the camera and handle that. So it's got a soft back, the canvas back, but he said that this is your security. It closes and obviously locks. So you can put all your personals. But here we go. So for the 34, oh, nice little kind of companion seat to the helm so that I can be super comfortable and read a book while the hubby steers and does all the hard work. This opens up, you can stick your hand out, but you're not stepping out. Um, kitchen, I'm not sure, I don't think it's induction, but it's got a little two burner. Nice little round sink. One, two, three, four drawers. Uh, we have our microwave. Um, this, he said, actually flips. The seat flips so that it faces and becomes part of the dining area. AC works really well. Um, gonna step down. I think it's a two-part head. Over here we have the cutest, smallest sink I have ever seen in my entire life. And then on the opposite side, we have a separate shower, which is actually really nice for this size boat. bedroom is small and there really is not a lot of storage. We have this. We have a small hanging locker. I believe this may be your control panel, but since they have please do not open drawers and lockers, I'm going to leave it alone. Pillow's really cute. Not that that's part of the boat. Maybe a little book or magazine shelf, and then we have again another little, and they look actually pretty deep. So, I oh, all right, we do have it looks like a nice drawer under there, maybe I guess two, and I'm not sure if this lifts up, so not much storage. Uh, got a couple little lights in here and then you've got poor holes in your sorry you have your uh, escape hatch if you're much smaller than me so but this is absolutely not bad for a nice weekend and again this does lock down secure even though it's got the canvas backing it does it does absolutely secure down and then we have okay we have plenty of freezer and fridge space for a few days out so this would actually be very comfortable Yeah. Fellow toy boat. Turn around and walk backward into the water. 
because after I finish laughing, I will feel horrible. You will feel horrible? I would. So pretty. <laughs> yeah, this is a Victorian boat built in 1909. I believe that it might have belonged to uh, Henry Clay F uh, Frick, who was the number two man in Pittsburgh in uh, United States Steel next to Andrew Carnegie. For snow, we're looking at that lineage to see if we can find that, but uh, seems to be the case. It's, uh... it's been completely, uh, actually not refurbished, it's about 95% original. We had a new engine put in. But, um, Sleeping quarters, everything in there? Uh, yeah, yeah. Kind of. Kind of. For the time. <laughs> your, uh, These are available for four hour charters. Oh, really? Yeah. You want yeah. To brochure? Yes, please. Good. Unique experience for people coming, Absolutely. coming is, through. You're out of West Palm Gar Beach? Uh, 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 yes. Guarantee you this is okay, there's no other boat. Card. He's the oh, owner. There's no Thank other you. boat like this, maybe in the world. I mean this this thing goes so far back. It's original. I mean all the all the big boats are nice, the yachts and everything, but this is just something totally unique. Discuss I don't know how in the world people can afford these boats. I mean I understand that there's different classes for different people and different income uh, brackets. But we're sitting here looking at 35, 40 foot boats. This one I'm fixing the pan on right here is a 45 foot, and that is a one point, I think it's a 1.4 million dollar boat. And that's the size boat that we're looking for to do the loop on. Then you pan around here to this, I think this is Predator 65. So again, times are getting to the point where it's hard to, it's hard to afford brand new. It's hard to afford to use for that matter. But they are beautiful boats. Both outside and inside for the lucky few that can afford them. Okay, this is the largest dinghy I've ever seen. My good dude, 45. Like I was saying earlier, you will find anything you want here at the boat show. And if you don't see it, I'll probably build it for you. I would imagine this is a tender for a mega yacht. It is cool though, futuristic design. Well, I was just mentioning with Laura when we were walking that we were obviously not looking at any of the boats in our price range. And then we come across this little scene right here and I just had to get a little bit of footage. Unbelievable. But we're almost at the end of the boat shows as far as the walkthrough. Hoping that we're gonna run into a few more boats that we can get on. We'll see. And it wasn't exactly everything we wanted it to be, but it was a really good day. We didn't get on very many boats. And as you can see around here, there is all kinds of activity. Everything from the boat show itself, there's an art show over at the convention center. And we also have plenty of vendors, plenty of food. As we were just saying a moment ago, we've got the Fort Lauderdale boat show at the end of this year in October. I think October. And that's gonna finish our year. Though. But Laura did mention, we're gonna start looking at some used boats. Because there's not one and not a lot of uh, boats in our price range that are brand new for what we want for the loop. Got to go a little older, a few years. And also, there's just not a lot of inventory out there. Not really. That is true. So, hope everybody enjoyed it. Look for the video on some of the, the few boats we did get on. We'll do some separate videos on. But hopefully, we'll get this one out there tonight or tomorrow. And today is Saturday. Yep. Again, for Low and Bow, see you later. Bye, guys. Bye. Well, <laughs> not bye yet. We forgot to say, live life to the fullest as if you're retired, guys. Now, bye. That's his thing, bye. <laughs>